Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Matt Joyce here with another live stream tonight of a full chest workout. How's everybody doing tonight? We are live and we're possibly going to hit the triceps and shoulders tonight too. So we're going to do a full upper body workout tonight. What's going on everybody? We are live. Mike Bushnell in the house. What's going on? Justin, Dalton Hart, Cody Rhodes, Zach Ryder, Dylan, Cody Rhodes. What's going on? Ahmad, what's going on, man? How's everybody doing tonight? We are live. Thank you for joining me tonight. It is a pleasure and honor and privilege to have you guys join me tonight. Michael Alexander, what's going on? Zach Ryder, you got a haircut? That's awesome, man. That's cool. I haven't gotten a haircut for a while. Cool WWE fan. What would I do if you donated five bucks? Hey, I would thank you so much. Cool WWE fan. That's up to you, though, if you want to do that. I would appreciate it, but that's up to you. Hey, what's going on, Ryan Armstrong? I hope you're doing okay, man. Cortez Mauricio. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Jeez, uh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Hopefully, Cortez, you could find the new owner if you could, you know. Oh, thank you, Ahmad. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I did unblock Michael. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I see Michael on the stream, so. Yeah, but in any case, yeah, we're going to start off with this chest workout. What's going on, Cullum Jess Islip? What's going on, man? How's everybody doing tonight? We are live. We are live. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for waiting for me, too. I had uh, planned to go on at 9 sharp, but unfortunately, I had to run some errands for a half hour, and then I finally finished, so here I am. What's up, day 77? Really? Cool WWE, cool WWE fan. Wow, I didn't, that's kind of weird. Oh, thank you, Cody. I appreciate that. We haven't started yet, though. We're going to start very soon. Hey, Marion, what's going on? I'm just adjusting the weights here. Uh, I don't want to start off with all the weight. I want to start off with relatively lighter weights. What's up, Eric Freeman? It's time for a haircut. I think you're right. Hey, Sadie Adler, what's going on? So just so you know, Sadie, uh, I sent out everyone's prizes. And Sadie, just so you know, I had a little bit extra left over. So I know you wanted a Brock Lesnar figure, so that's what I did. I sent you a Brock Lesnar figure, Sadie Adler. Hey, Jessica Turriff. What's going on? Long time no see. Hope you're doing okay. Oh, Angel Storm's got a live stream on her Instagram after this stream. That's awesome, Angel Storm. All right, so check out Angel Storm after this, guys. <laughs> okay, let's start off with the first set here. We've got about 35 pounds on each dumbbell, and we're just going to do some dumbbell flies. Oh, anytime, Sadie. Hey, you deserve it, and... Uh, Everyone else who won, who won prizes, I sent out the prizes, so I had some extra, so why not, you know? Instead of giving you the photos, I know you really wanted the Brock Lesnar figure, so I sent you the Brock Lesnar figure. And, and an extra figure, too. I, I sent you two figures. Um, I had an extra figure, too, so I sent you another one, Sadie Adler. So I sent you two. Okay, so just let me know when you get them. Uh, might be a while, you know, international shipping's not that good uh, these days, so. <laughs> oh, really, days <laughs> 77? Well, it's all right, you know, you just, it takes time, you know, to uh, build up the strength to do it, you know, to lift up somebody, you know. Oops, all right, let's start off with the first set. Alright, Angel Storm is going to do a live Facebook stream too on our Facebook page. Alright, so this is lightweight, so 
I'm just activating the muscles here, getting them woken up. Getting the blood flowing in the chest, doing some uh, chest flies, getting all the muscles activated in the shoulders, triceps, chest, even the biceps. The biceps work too when you're doing chest. Complete upper body. Day, hey, the Daily Dan blog, what's going on, man? Thank you for joining me on a Thursday night. Thank you. It is my honor and privilege to be entertaining you guys here tonight um just working out though it's, can't be that entertaining but <laughs> dalton wait uh angel storm dalton did that no way really Oh my, <laughs> it's a different angle tonight. <laughs> really, Dalton really did that? Oh, okay, okay. Michael Alexander. Okay, yeah. I don't, that's not a nice thing to say at all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that uh, that happened. I can't believe he said something like that. That's, that's, that's horrible. All right, let's continue on. Next set. Keep, keep the sets uh, relatively fast. Like, don't spend too much time resting. That's good, that's good. Getting the uh, blood flowing, getting the muscles working. Oh, thank you, thank you, Mike. <laughs> that's it, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do the chest, uh, the shoulders now. Scott Golden, what's going on? Cartrix4, what's going on, man? Hey, Cartrix is blowing up over there on TikTok, doing his thing. Check out Cartridge, he's got like 2,000 followers. He's doing his thing. So, we're gonna do shoulders. This is a real mass building exercise. It's good to do those from the floor too. So you take away all momentum. All momentum from your legs, your whole body. So you're really focusing on the shoulders. That was good, that was good. All right, we're gonna do some triceps now. 
We're gonna do some shoulders and triceps. I'm gonna show you an interesting set right now. Oh, thank you, Cullum. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, Dalton? So, um, yeah, that was a, that was a good. That was triceps. Those are uh, tricep floor extensions. So, really activating the triceps there. Again, taking away all momentum. So that's a lot of weight, actually for the tricep extension for me 35 pounds on each side so it's a little bit that's really mass building for me so it's pretty good hey Jessica Turf yeah check out my channel I got so many keto videos now I have over a hundred recipes on the ketogenic diet on my channel right now and they're only gonna keep growing I got a very interesting piece of machinery uh, for keto, actually. Uh, a new piece of machinery I'm going to be making a special cake with. Special cake, keto birthday cake for. So keep that in mind. Card Tricks 4 is going to be 17 next Thursday, a week from today. Wow, Card Tricks, man. Keep up the good work, man. Keep up the good work. <laughs> oh, cool WB fan's gonna be 14 in about a month. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. You know, I remember when I was all those ages, man. I remember those ages. Really cool. Yes, that's, it's just water. I filled up the bottle with water. Oh, really, Dylan? Wow. So you're nine, your sister's 15, and your other sister's 20. That's incredible, Dylan. Austin Benninger, what's going on, man? How you doing? All right, we'll do another uh, shoulder press, floor shoulder press. That's cool, am I? That's awesome, man. You're starting by your 23. You're only child. That's cool. I was an only child until we found Johnny Boots at the zoo. <laughs> no, I'm, jo I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> All right, let's do another uh, warm up set. Really focus on time on the tension here.
of Trey Grimes. What's going on, man? Eric, you're going to be 10 in three months? That's awesome, Eric. Wow, congratulations, Eric Freeman. What's up, Trey? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Angel Storm. Jessica Turf, yes. Poppy's favorite food is bread. Yep. So, Eric Freeman, I hate to burst your bubble. But since you're going to be 10 years old, that's great, Eric. I am so proud of you, but I don't know if you were aware of the new rules on YouTube where you have to be at least 18 years of age to be a moderator on the stream. So, Eric Freeman, so I'm afraid we're going to have to wait until you're 18 to reinstate you, Eric Freeman. Well, that's cool, Angel Storm. <laughs> Jessica, you're 20. That's cool. So you, you would qualify. You would qualify, Jessica. Oh, Eric, you're joking. Okay. Taco Bell. That's cool. I think Poppy's favorite uh, food fast food is McDonald's his favorite fast food is McDonald's <laughs> poppy oh cool Kyle that's awesome yeah this is follow along you want to follow along go right ahead all right we're doing another shoulder press okay guys hey Sammy talks what's going on all right another shoulder press what's up Brock Ringling well Maybe at the end of this stream, I'll allow someone to cash in his briefcase or 24-7 champ to defend his title, maybe. <laughs> towards the end, though, towards the end. Whoppers are the best. Okay, Mike. McChicken. Poppy loves McChickens. He gets them without the lettuce. That was good. That was good. All right, we're going right into the triceps and then into the chest. Let's go. That was good. Yeah, don't hit your head on the weights. I don't hit the weights on your head. Jessica, uh, oh, this house? It's, it's kind of, it's not, I mean, it's pretty expensive. It's like, there's about like half a million, half a million dollars. 
uh, about 500,000 for the house. I know Eric, he does have to stop eating that crap. He does. He really does. All right, I'm increasing the weight for the next set, so keep that in mind. Yeah, he should eat healthy. Um, I tried to get Poppy onto keto. I tried to get him on the keto, but he's not having it. He, he doesn't want anything to do with keto because he loves bread too much, he says. But you can eat different foods. You can eat different foods. Zack Ryder, what's going on, man? And you could make keto bread, but he's he's not a fan of keto bread. He's not a fan of keto bread. He hates it. Even the best keto bread I've made, he didn't like. So, I tried. I tried. Kurt Hawkins, he's going to Impact. Wow, that's good. At least he's going to get a job. That's awesome. That's right, Jessica. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I try. He just... He doesn't have, want anything to do with it. He doesn't want anything to do with it. Well, he has health issues. That's the problem. He has diabetes. He has high blood pressure. Um... Poppy has health issues, but he doesn't want to reverse them. He just wants to manage them with medication. That's what he wants to do. So he can eat whatever he wants, just take his medication. Rather than eat whatever he wants in moderation and get off the meds. See, I still eat what I like. Like I had a cheat day. I had a cheat meal today. Today I had a cheat meal. So I I cheat like once a week. Maybe twice a week I'll cheat. No. Oh okay, Sadie, yeah, it's 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 warm over here in New York too. I got a lot of wrinkles since last time. Wrinkles? Really? Oh, okay, Jessica. Well um I will say I lost, I think I lost some weight from the last time you saw me. So uh, I get my face is like uh, slimming out a bit. So that could be it. I don't know. But Jessica, yeah, uh, I hope you do. I hope you join us some more for the stream. You know, Jessica, I really do. Uh, you know, we still do prizes for the pay-per-views. Yeah, so I hope your brothers are doing good too. I believe it was uh, Reese Turif, Reese. Hey Roy, what's going on? I lost weight and wrinkles. <laughs> okay, Jessica. <laughs> so I, I think when the weight came off, I could, you could see like maybe a little more wrinkle like under the eye especially but um hey at least i you know i lost some weight so that's a good thing uh check me out on uh tick uh tiktok too i i do uh workouts on tiktok i do keto on tiktok all right good night angel storm thank you for stopping by phone calls eric well um we have the choice hotline if you guys want to dial in uh, Poppy's taking all calls 24-7, 365. 
I think so, Sadie. I think Otis is still money in the bank. I think so. Yeah, TikTok, Mike, it's still active. Mike, you might like TikTok. I mean, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's start off. Uh, we just increased the weight. Angel Storm's going to go live at 10 p.m. Angel Storm's going to go uh, live 10 p.m. on her Instagram. So check it out. Uh, I might still be streaming, but uh, so check out Angel Storm. That's her, um, that's her screen name if you guys want to check her out. 11 p.m. fast time. <laughs> Okay, that's cool, Angel Storm. <laughs> yeah, but um, for real, I thought TikTok was all like kitty stuff, and it's it's not. It's not. It's all. There's so many different outlets on TikTok. It's crazy, guys. It's really crazy. If you guys want to check it out, I mean. A lot of things, a lot of material on TikTok. <laughs> Spy stuff. <laughs> hey, Andy, that's awesome, man. Congratulations. I'll, if I ever get a chance, an opportunity, I'll check it out, Andy. Eric, a lot of childish people. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Um, there are there are childish people, but there's a lot of grown adults on there too. There's a, all kinds of uh, different content on TikTok. Like they have TikTok for 30s, TikTok for 40s, TikTok for 50s. Like they have a lot of different TikTok age groups. Believe it or not, there's a lot of different people on TikTok. <laughs> oh, really, Angel Storm? I mean, for me, I don't, I don't particularly say I don't want to be famous, but at the end of the day, I want, I would love to get my message out there. My message, you know, uh, definitely get my message out there that you could. Eat right, eat in moderation, and and still enjoy the foods you love, and you 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 won't get sick. You won't get sick. <laughs> YMCA. No. <laughs> yeah, call them wrestling YouTubers are famous. Well, yeah, I mean. If that happens, I mean, that's fine. I mean, that's right. Eat right, don't die. That's the message, Mike. <laughs> you won't, I mean, it's going to happen. It's going to happen regardless. You, 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 you do know that. You, it's going to happen regardless, but you'll have a better quality of life. If you eat right... But it all depends how your body is. I mean, uh, if you eat a specific way and you feel good, then stay like the way you're eating. Like if you eat 
a couple double cheeseburgers a day from uh, Wendy's or Burger King and you feel fine, then do it. But if you're, if you're doing that and you're gaining weight, you feel tired throughout the day, you don't feel good, then you gotta make some changes. Oh, definitely, Eric, I want him to be around a lot longer. <laughs> hey, Fortnite God, what's going on? Absolutely. <clears throat> well, Car Gary, yeah, you know, I eat chocolate every day. I eat chocolate every day, just the chocolate without the sugar. No sugar. Like, I eat the uh, Lint's dark chocolate, 95% chocolate. No sugar in it, just chocolate. So... Uh, I feel good from that. I mean, you have to adjust your palate, though. If you're used to eating, like, a lot of sugar, you, you're going to have to adjust your palate. That Jessica's right to a certain extent that Poppy will never die. His legacy will never die because he will be forever on this platform, YouTube. That's right. His legacy will never die, Poppy. Oh, okay, Days, you ate some chocolate or raisins. That's good, man. I mean, um, just try not to eat, eat it with the sugar. That's right, Colin. I've been on YouTube for 10 years. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. Are you guys ready? Next set. But yet, at the end of the day, that's what you guys got to look at. If you're not feeling good... You gotta change something. It's, it's most likely your diet. Oh yeah, Gary. <laughs> well, chocolate releases endorphins even without the sugar. Okay, Fortnite God, that's awesome, man. Lunatic Brother. Jessica, yes, he, he's doing fine, you know. Uh, He's hanging in there. Uh, he actually still streams on uh, Raw and SmackDown. What's up, Jovan? Yeah, he, he, he still streams on uh, Raw and SmackDown. So if you want to subscribe to him, Jessica Turif, uh, his link is in the description of the live stream. No, he's not doing it. He's not catching anything, no. Thank you, Jovan, for liking the stream, man. All right, next set. Good, good set. That's good, Dylan. Yeah, usually, you know, people, they go to the hospital when they don't feel good, you know. Eric, how much sugar? You actually don't need sugar. Uh, your body produces its own sugar. Your blood stream only has one teaspoon of sugar in it. That's it, one teaspoon of sugar. Unless if you, if you have a higher blood sugar, 
which you shouldn't, but uh, if you have a high blood sugar, that means you have more than a teaspoon of blood in your sugar. But uh, ideally, you wanna have one teaspoon of blood sugar in your blood. One teaspoon of sugar in your blood sugar. So that comes out to a rating of about 100 or less, about 90 to 100. If you do a blood meter test, 90 to 100 so that should be like one teaspoon so just think about it there's no essential carbohydrate there are essential fatty acids there are essential amino acids protein fat there is no essential carbohydrate just keep that in mind your body can run on 26 grams of carbs a day 26 grams of carbs a day and guess where your body gets those 26 grams of carbs from it gets it from a process called nucleogeno nucleo neogenesis that's how you pronounce it nucleo neogenesis that's it that's it no uh, that's the thing mike you could have pasta you can have pasta like once in a like once a week twice a week not every day not every day unless you're a marathon athlete and you're working out like crazy <laughs> eight syllable word <laughs> i got a lot of eight syllable words <laughs> but um uh, so nucleo neogenesis that's the process in which your body converts protein and fat into carbohydrate. The minimum you need is 26 grams for your body to run smooth. And your body does that automatically without you eating carbs. So keep that in mind. So I, I've learned this through research. So I've done a lot of research, a lot of research. I didn't just jump into keto because it was a, a hot trend. No, sir. No, sir. I did a lot of research. I was sickly. A lot of, a lot of the time I was bedridden. I was bedridden. A lot of the times I was bedridden. And uh, I only had enough energy to just go to work and go home. That was it. So, you know, keto saved my life. You know, I lost almost 40 pounds, reversed my high blood pressure, pre-diabetes, my hypothyroidism, my gout, sleep apnea. I had uh, neuropathy in the fingertips and the, the legs. Oh, definitely, Gary. Yeah, there's a lot of skepticism about keto there's there's so many skeptics out there but unless you try it for yourself then that's the only way you'll know i mean i, I know i feel great the best i've ever felt in my life doing keto and uh that's the best i've ever this is the best the best i've ever felt in my life so and now I will up my carbs though. Like I, I do cyclical keto, so I'll do more carbs on the weekends. Now, since I've been doing ke traditional keto for a long time, you can transition into targeted keto or cyclical keto. Targeted meaning you eat your carbs every day before or after your workout. So like up to 50 grams of carbs you could eat pasta, Mike. You could eat pasta, but you got to eat that like an hour or two before your workout or an hour or two after your workout. That's targeted keto. Cyclical keto, that, that's when you, you allocate, allocate all your carbs through one day or two days a week. I have it on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday. Monday through Friday, I do strict. But 
like I said, today's Thursday. I had a cheat meal, so you know, uh, what can you do? With I'm, I'm burning off the extra calories I had from the cheat meal with this workout. So, so that's another thing you could pay attention to. Uh, the more you work out, the more you could get away with on your diet as well. A NASA scientist, Mike? Well, it's not that complicated. Uh, once you get the hang of it, it's not that complicated. But, uh, but like I said, you know, if you're not feeling well, I would suggest do it. If you feel good the way you're doing right now, I, don't change a thing, guys. If, if you feel okay with your current diets, don't change a thing. Don't change a thing. Don't try to eat keto because I'm eating keto. I do it because it saved my life because because of my specific genes I'm predisposed to getting high blood pressure and diabetes in, in my genome in my body uh, that poppy passed down to me so vegan uh, Jessica I never done vegan but Johnny Boots did vegetarian I think he did vegan too and um, I got to say, Johnny Boots was in the best shape of his life when he was a vegetarian. He was in the best shape of his life when he was a vegetarian, Johnny Boots. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen pictures of Johnny Boots when he was uh, a vegetarian. He was in really good shape. He had abs and everything. I'll call him no, John Moxley's a 24-7 champ. He won the title. <laughs> That's right, Gary. <laughs> Gary's right, you know. Um, he's right about that. I mean, but you could eat delicious foods on keto. You could eat delicious foods on keto. You could really make them delicious, trust me. Oh, wait, Cullum, you're right. Oh, sorry about that. Cullum, Jess, I am so sorry about that. You are right about that. You are, you are so right about that. Okay, Cullum. You're right. I for completely forgot about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Keto? Eric, uh, that's the thing. I mean, it, uh, it's done wonders for me, man. Trust me. It's done wonders for me. I gave me my life back. I'm not sick anymore. I I could do things. Do things. Uh, another thing for all, all you guys on the stream, uh, ladies too. Uh, my testosterone levels were very low before, uh, as low as a teenage girl. So, uh, and I had as much estrogen as a pregnant woman. Uh, before starting keto as well. So think about that. I was I had high blood pressure, pre-diabetes, hypothyroidism. I had as much estrogen as a pregnant woman. Low testosterone. Things were not looking good for me, guys. That sounds good, Gary. All right, we'll, we'll count along. Okay. <laughs> I know it, it, it was crazy, but... Um, since since doing keto, since doing keto, my uh, T levels tripled, tripled. My estrogen levels leveled off, and I'm doing great. I'm doing great. So, and I told those doctors to uh, f off. <laughs> I said I don't need you anymore. You're not getting my copay anymore. <laughs> Yeah, Gary, the man boobs. Yeah, uh, the man boobs. That's that's where they came from. And uh, 
I still have a little bit left on my chest. Uh, it, it's going away though. It's going away, but that takes about a year to go away. Uh, it takes about a, uh, at least a year for your chest to level out after that, from my research. So it, it, I have a little bit left, but it's going away. <laughs> yeah, Mike. <laughs> Sammy, no, Mike and I never met. Uh, Mike apparently ran into Johnny Boots, though, in the restroom at WrestleMania 29. Go figure, so. <laughs> Eric, uh, it's good for uh, a short period of time, yes, but uh, you should stay. If you're going to do keto, you should, you should typically stay on it. That, yeah, Gary, I mean, I, my body was, uh, was, was uh, not working for me back then. Uh, it, it was haywire back then. So, but, but Eric, that's the thing. Uh, you know, you use, I'm using keto as a form of eating good. Eating good. You don't have to do keto. You could do paleo. You could do vegetarian you could do vegan. You could do the 80 20 rule. There's so many different diets out there. You just follow. You just have to pick a diet that's going to work for you. That's what you got to do. Like uh, keto was perfect for me because keto, if I'm craving something, I can make something a keto version of it. I can make keto pasta, I can make keto pizza, keto bread. I can make keto cake, keto cookies. If I'm craving something, I can make it keto. That's that's what the beauty is of it, of keto. <laughs> really, Mike? <laughs> like, Mike, what what hotel did you stay at at uh, WrestleMania 29? Uh, which hotel did you stay out? Uh, I forgot which hotel we were at. We, I think we were at the Days Inn. And we had a special shuttle bus, the uh, hotel for WrestleMania 29. They had a special shuttle bus for us to go drop us off at the stadium and pick us back up. You, you, you stayed at the Sheridan in Times Square? Why did you stay all the way out there, man? All, all the way, oh, you stayed all the way in the city. Oh, you had those too, that's awesome. You guys must have ran into some crazy traffic though. You guys must have read into some uh, crazy traffic coming from New York, uh, coming from the city to Jersey. Hopefully not, though. But uh, yeah, we we stayed like we were only a we were less than a mile away from the stadium. So, and we had the shuttle buses take us to uh, re fan access. Uh, so they took us to fan access. They took us to the stadiums. It was awesome. Oh, right, Mike. Oh, so you went to see... Oh, you went to the Hall of Fame, too. Okay. Yeah, we didn't go to the Hall of Fame. We didn't... Uh, I think we watched that live. I think we watched that live at the hotel, actually. But it's funny, you know, because we lived in Brooklyn. We didn't have to stay in a hotel. But, uh... We just wanted to go for the experience, like. But it, yeah, it was it was awesome. <laughs> he did, yeah, he, he did talk a long time. That was that was Poppy's favorite wrestler growing up, so he was he was happy to see Bruno, uh, live at the pay per view at WrestleMania 29. So, yeah, it was cool. You know, was also inducted that night was uh, President Trump. <laughs> he was also inducted that night. <laughs> oh, the longest part was getting out of Giant Stadium. Yeah, that was a killer getting out of the. Uh, 
That was a killer getting out of the stadium, man. Uh, you know what happened? We didn't get our shuttle bus. They, they didn't come to pick us up, the shuttle bus. So we had to get a cab. We, and the cabs, they're all overcharging everybody. And Poppy, you know, being a, a, you know, a funny guy, he's walking around with the, the replica belt on his shoulder. He's going to the cab saying, hey, how much to take us to our hotel? So the, the cab driver would say, that'll be $30, champ. <laughs> and he said, what are you kidding? We're right there. The hotel's right there across the road. And he said, yeah, I understand, but you got to go on the highway. And make a U-turn and then go to your hotel. And Poppy said, the hell with that. We're just going to walk on the highway. But um, no, <laughs> it was too dangerous. So I told him, "Take put the title. Put the title away. Are you kidding me? They're going to overcharge us. So I, get, I took the title from him. And then he, he got to a different cab. And they said, okay, 20 bucks. And he's like, all right, that's, that'll work. <laughs> it was a big stadium, Mike. It was a big it was a huge stadium, huge stadium. But that's the thing, guys, you never went to WrestleMania. You guys got to go at least once in your life. I mean, it was uh it was an experience. I mean, every moment was an experience. I mean, it was just incredible. I mean, we went to Fan Access two times. We met as many wrestlers as we, as we could meet. Uh, I mean, every moment, every single moment was an experience that I remember. And I'm sure Mike has plenty of experiences too. Yeah, Mike, check out the DVD. I don't know if I've seen you. I've seen us, though, a f quite a few times. Uh, Johnny Boots, myself, Poppy... And my fiance, I, we, we were we were pretty visible in a lot of different uh, se segments. MCG, really, Gary? Wow, one hundred eighteen thousand. Yeah, that it is big. Our right, Mike was the first level up directly across from the r entrance ramp. First level up. Wow. I'm Mike, you might have been seen that. Uh, all right, I mean, maybe next time when I check out the, the show, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can see you. But um, we saw Russ quite a few times on the stream. <laughs> you saw Miz in the hallway? Wow, Mike, we, we ran into John Cena after the main event uh after you know i distracted him two times john cena was cool though he didn't have no animosity it was really nice until johnny boots opened his mouth and said cena cena and john cena said come on what are you doing like because he just caused all the people down the hall to realize cena was interacting with us so cena just ran <laughs> he got out of our Harm's way. Yeah, but Cena was cool. He was just interacting with us. He was cool. Yeah, Mike, it was like the Super Bowl. I mean, oh, thank you, Oman. I mean, yeah, it was awesome. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I mean, you never know what's going to happen uh, when you go to a live event. Even at a live event, you never know what's going to happen. A live event, so many fun things can happen at a live event. Uh, we went to a Monday Night Raw, Johnny Boots and I, we had really good seats. Uh, I had a friend that worked for NBC, and uh, it was actually the last night of ECW in WWE. And uh, so many things happened that night. So many things happened that night. Uh, Chris Jericho was like making eye contact with me in the ring. He thought he recognized me from somewhere and he he he, he was tagging with Randy Orton. So he, he, he tapped Randy Orton and told him to look at me and they were kind of trying to figure out if they recognized me from somewhere. 
And then they shrugged it. It's like, I don't know who he is. And then um, there was a lady next to us who uh, tapped my shoulder like she she wanted Johnny Boots and I to go home with her. I mean, that it was hilarious that night. <laughs> yeah. That same night, Triple H uh, went through the crowd and Johnny Boots scared him because Triple H didn't see Johnny Boots coming at him. And Triple H's like, oh. <laughs> then Triple H's like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh... <laughs> well, I don't know, Mike. I'm, I mean, well, back in the day, a lot of people, uh, back then, believe it or not, a lot of people would mistaken me for the guy from uh, that movie, American Pie. American Pie. I forgot his name. Uh, Jason Biggs. Yeah, a lot of people would would say, oh, uh, would, would actually think that that was me. I was actually stopped in the street a few times about that. Uh, say, hey, were you that guy that, uh, you know, were you that guy that did that pie? <laughs> it's like, no, nah, that's not me. But I used to get that. I actually used to get that back in the day. So I don't know if maybe that's what they were thinking, but I don't know. Oh, Fester. <laughs> yeah, I, I make a good Fester for Halloween. I'm a really good Fester. You guys seen my Halloween photos? They're on Instagram. I look like Samoa Joe. A second, guys. Up. Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, switch my angle. Uh, give me a second here. I'm going to switch my angle here. Just give me a second. had to switch up the angle because I just saw my uh, 
my phone was gonna die, so I just had to switch the angle. All right. Give me a second here. Matt's Mario and Luigi. Boots is Luigi, yeah. <laughs> All right. Just had to switch up the angle. Yeah, my, my, my phone was about to die, that's why. But yeah. Well, Samoa Joe, uh, I don't want to talk bad about him. He, incredible athlete back in his day. He lost a lot of uh, finesse, if you will, throughout the years. He lost a lot of finesse throughout the years. <laughs> so that's why he's commentating. But he, he's great on the commentator's booth. He's awesome on the commentator's booth. He should keep it up. <laughs> Joe? <laughs> You know what's funny? If you guys watch, uh, Seamus, Seamus, he made, you know, he makes, he has a YouTube channel. He makes uh, workout videos, Seamus. So he actually had uh, Samoa Joe on a video, on a workout video. And Samoa Joe actually stopped his workout. Like Samoa Joe, he couldn't continue his own workout. And Seamus was like, what are you doing? <laughs> so, Samoa Joe. <laughs> he is, Mike. <laughs> Let me show you guys what I was able to find. Uh, from eBay. Let me show you something what I was able to find. This is a gem right here. A gem. Take a look at this. You see this? This is like bringing back your childhood right here. Look at that, World Wrestling Federation, WWF. You can't get these anymore, this is the block logo, WWF. This is, uh, nineteen ninety eight. Look at that, Jack Pacific. Look at that. You can't find these anymore, this is a gem. This is a gem. And it, it's in great condition. Look at it. It's like nothing wrong with it. Perfect. Perfect condition. So this, this belt right here, I found it on eBay. Yeah, it was made in China. But um, <laughs> that's all you guys saw, right? It just <laughs> made in China. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's made in China. But uh, this belt right here. I mean, you can't find this belt anymore with the WWF block logo on it. Look at that. You can't find this anymore. There was a seller on eBay, and uh, she didn't know what she had. She listed it for $5. $5. So guess who scooped it up? <laughs> I paid for shipping, though, so it was 10 bucks. But... Uh, this right here, back in the day, this was going for $25. If you guys grew up around uh, that time when these were actually made, these were going on, going around for about uh, $25 back in the day. Guess how much is worth today? If I were to list this title, it's, it's actually in pretty much in mint condition. If I were to list this title, I'd probably get a hundred bucks for it. 
At least a hundred. For this belt. Believe it or not. <clears throat> so, but I'm still looking for a replica belt to give away for uh, a pay-per-view in the near future for the top trivia score. Uh, probably for SummerSlam. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I could get a replica belt to give away for the top trivia score at SummerSlam. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to find one. It's it's time. It's not a big belt. It's small. It's it's very small. See, it, it's a small belt. Uh, let me compare it to one of my uh, full size belts. This is proof that, guys, you could find cheap belts on eBay. You could find cheap belts on eBay. Even this one. Even this one. This belt right here retailed at $400. This one. Actually, no, no. This belt is a two-toned Fandu belt. This one retailed for $500, actually, on their website, Fandu Belts. This belt right here, I got it on eBay. I got it on eBay for a buck seventy-five. So there you have it. I mean, you never know what you're gonna find on eBay. And guess what? Thank you, Danny. Uh, and guess what? The link is in the description of this live stream. The exact link that I use to find these belts, these deals. In the description of this live stream so you could go to, to e you could click the link go to ebay and look for the same deals that i look for i made that link just for you guys for me too but uh for you guys too and every belt that you do make uh every belt that you do buy i get a uh commission I think I get about 5% or something, or maybe 10%, 5 or 10%. Hold on a sec. set in. We're at a different angle now. I hope you guys can see me from this angle. I'm not sure.
<laughs> What's up, CK fan? Oh, I should buy a hundred and get the commission. <laughs> The master hacker. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we've had our fair share of hackers on this stream. We've had crazy. I mean, uh, I mean, Johnny Boots would get it too. I mean, Johnny Boots on his stream. The dislike hackers, I think those are coming from wrestling days. Wrestling days. You know, um, I'm still looking for the definite proof that he did it. And I have 300 streams, so I'm going through them. Uh, I haven't found the definite proof yet. But I was able to find an instance on Money in the Bank 2018. It starts off at the four minute mark. And unfortunately, you can't see the link, but I am trying to delete something off the screen and I couldn't figure out how to do it. And that, I think that was the first time he stroke. Really, Danny? Wow. Danny's eating those keto donuts his girl made from my video. That's awesome. I hope you enjoy them, man. Um, I, I like them, actually. They're very good. Got to be careful, CK fan. Really, Cullum? Oh, I didn't know that. Welcome back, Dalton. Welcome back. That's a good idea. We shouldn't even mention this guy. He's not even worth our time. Not even worth our time. Or energy. Not at all. The, the, the last thing I'm going to say about it, though. Uh, even his moderator admitted to doing that to smaller channels. His moderators, the Sunny Wolf, even... Even... His, his uh, moderator, the, Sunner, the Sunny Wolf, did admit to doing that on smaller channels. So that's proof all in itself right there. I mean, why would I make that up? That, you know, a lot of people said, oh, we need the proof. But why would I make something like that up? You know, <laughs> like I have nothing better to do. <laughs> All right, Dalton said he's, he might go live tonight on his channel, so subscribe to him if you haven't. Oh, really, Gary? <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, you know that. Yeah, Ahmad, I mean, uh, but even, even then, uh, the Sunny Wolf even admitted to that, so... That's the proof right there. I mean, that, that's the proof. I'm still looking for concrete evidence, but um, I don't know if YouTube deletes links after a certain time. I don't know. CK fan. Yeah, I know. Uh, but we're all banned now. <laughs> we can't do it. We're, we're all banned. We're all banned from that one night. We're all banned. We could do it on his other channel. He has a different channel. Uh, whenever that goes live. But we could do it on a different channel to get our message out there. So, new accounts. Yeah, we could create new accounts. That's a good idea, but... Uh, 
at the end of the day, what are we going to do? I mean, we're going to raid him again. It was fun. Don't get me wrong. That was a lot of fun that night when we raided him. That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. It was like an army going into... It was like DX going into WCW. <laughs> that was, that was a, so much fun. I mean, we raided his stream. Matt Troy's rules was all over the chat room. Even on his screen, it was all over. It was it was uh, it was hilarious. It was it was a lot of fun to do it. It was a lot of fun. Okay, Ahmad. All right, that's cool. But yeah, uh, at the end of the day, I mean, it was fun. But uh, I didn't do it to get followers, though. I did it to make my message clear. That was it. I, I'm not trying to steal followers like he did. I'm not trying to steal followers. If I wanted to steal followers, I would have posted the link of my channel. I didn't do that. I didn't want to do that. Just want to get my message clear. Get it out there. That what he did was wrong. And that's it. We don't have to keep bringing him up because he's a waste of energy and a waste of time. Okay, let's continue on. Oh, really, CK fan? Oh, that's awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you for that, man. I, I do appreciate that. You know, uh, but you know, also, CK fan, uh, I do give away prizes on pay per views, too. So, for trivia, wrestling trivia, see the titles on the screen here. So, I think it's more interactive here, anyway. I mean, a lot more fan interaction. A lot more personable. A lot more personable here on the stream. Alright, we're gonna continue on with the next set. I think this is gonna be the last set, best set. push-ups I can do. That was brutal. Ten push-ups. 
That's all I could get out after that workout. I'm gonna see if I can get some more in. Thank you. 
YMCA. Ah, good job. Gonna stretch out the abs after that. Jessica's a guy. <laughs> I didn't know that. So it's not the real Jessica, right? <laughs> Is John Moxley? Yep, dancing on the floor, Gary. <laughs> Karate chop. <laughs> That's right, Gary. I couldn't get up for a moment. What, what are you guys going to get into tonight? I'm probably going to get some rest. Excuse me. This is a good workout. The Deli Dan Block, sporting that wardrobe from that 70s show. <laughs> that sounds good, Mike. Nap and then sleep. Okay, that's cool. Daytime. Okay, Gary. Thank you, Cullo. Okay, Ahmad, cool, man. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll check it out if I have, if I have time. Uh, there's been an update. I have an update for you guys. Um, I would love to know your opinion on the matter because uh, I value you guys' opinion. All joking aside, so I was contacted by my previous employer, and they have asked me to uh, to come back, but only on a part-time basis. So, uh, what are your feelings on that, guys? Should I... Should I go back? Lose my unemployment? And I'll, I'll, I'll end up losing money. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? I probably wouldn't, uh, I pro I'm probably thinking no, right? But I, I was probably going to hold out until I find a better position. So. I know, I'm I know, but, you know, they released me full time, but they contacted me. They want me to come back part time. I said I'll have to think about it. So they said I have a week to decide. So I don't know. I don't know. You're right, Gary. You're right. I know that's selling myself short. Because I know what they're going to do. They're going to want everything done that I normally do in 37 and a half hours. Actually, no, 35 hours. I was 35 hours. They're going to want everything done in half the time. Well, that's, that's interesting, Danny. Uh, you get partial unemployment. 
A lot of people looking for jobs. You're right, Danny. You know, you're right about that. Oh, Eric, stay home and entertain you. Well, I'm still going to entertain you guys. I'm still going to do my shows for you guys. Absolutely. Even if I do go back to work. <laughs> hey, Zack Ryder. That's right, Mike. Half the time, half the rat. That's the thing, though. That's, that's probably not what they're expecting. They're expecting half the time, the full rat. That's what they're expecting. So that, that's probably what they're expecting. So, uh, and no benefits, no health benefits, no, none of that. That's all gone. I have it until the end of the year, but no more benefits. Oh, really, Mike? Oh, so if you refuse, they might try to do that to your unemployment. I didn't know that. Okay, Gary, yeah, that's what Mike's, uh, that's what Danny said, that uh, I could work part-time and claim unemployment together. Oh, okay, Mike, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. But I didn't sign anything. I didn't sign anything, though. Like, they they just called me. I mean, he just called me, my uh, supervisor. My old supervisor. So. Jessica, no, nah, I never, John Moxley, I never act like a spoiled kid in Walmart. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, I'm really going to have to figure out what I'm going to do. Uh, maybe I would go back to them just to find, some, and I'll find something else, but just go back to them part time. I don't know. Oh, so they would go even that far to do that? Like, they'll prove it with a phone call or a text message? Wow. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. We, we'll see what happens if it... Uh... Oh, that's right, Mike. Uh, you just ignored yours... So you're not even worried about getting your job back? <laughs> you're just going to find a different job all completely, huh? All entirely? Work at McDonald's, Jessica. Well, you know. I mean, if I had to, I mean, but I, I would prefer not to. Danny, you're right about that. Job security is important this day and age be wise and think of the future you're right about that you're right about that danny that's very good uh advice that is oh next june <laughs> wow mike that's <laughs> that's like a year from now that's gonna be interesting i mean to be off for a whole year I mean that that's that's incredible. I mean, we've never been off this much in our lives. If you think about that, like if if you were working full time, Civil War Two starts November fourth. <laughs> you might be right about that, Mike. You might be right about that actually. But um, yeah, I mean. If you were working full time, you you've never been off like this ever since, like maybe since you were in high school, or what, or in if you were in college, uh, have you been working full time all your life? I mean, maybe you've had a few weeks vacation combined, but you never been off for months at a time like this. I mean, this is this is, it's a treat all in itself. 
but you know if you're looking at the good it's it's good that um you have all this time off but it's bad as to why it happened but uh <laughs> Well, yeah, Mike, I mean, uh, but it's just interesting how things panned out, you know, this, this year, you know. It's like summer as a kid. You're right, Mike. I mean, it is like summer as a kid. I mean, you have nothing really to worry about. I mean, other than like, well, unless, you know, you got some money issues. I mean, I mean, hopefully you don't have money issues. But if you don't have money issues and you're just like collecting unemployment and stuff yeah this is like summer vacation just like what mike said if if you uh, uh, of course if you're not getting sick too jacob what's going on jessica yeah how'd you know that john moxley yeah my very first job was wendy's my very first job that I worked at wendy's i worked there for two years Uh, I used to work at Wendy's, and uh, I would work the night shift. So I would come home with like a bag full of leftovers that was that didn't sell. So I would come home every night with a bag of leftovers. Like I'd have French fries, nuggets, burgers, sometimes chicken sandwiches. I'd come home with a bag. And, uh, really, Mike, oh, yeah, I mean, it was fun sometimes, you know, sometimes it wasn't that fun, but the funniest thing was that I would come home and Poppy would wake up right away and say, what'd you get? <laughs> he would wake up at like midnight, like, what'd you get? <laughs> and Poppy would, <laughs> he would eat whatever I got I mean he wouldn't get eat everything but he would eat like uh, he was like oh this is good he got burgers chicken and Sparky uh, our dog at the time he would he would eat too so yeah they would have a good time with that they would have a good time so you know I try to look at the good things the good and everything you know like so th those are good moments good moments I used to prank I used to prank this guy that worked uh, right next to me, uh, this guy named Wilson. Hey, Mike, you used to take milkshakes. Yeah, I used to drink the, uh, the milkshake, the Frosty, right out of the bucket. They used to have a bucket. I used to drink it right out of the bucket. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking back then. But, <laughs> but anyway, um, Wilson, uh, he was a, uh, you know, he... He was a little bit slow. I'm, I'm going to be honest. He was a little bit slow. He wasn't um, that coherent. But, you know, he could work. He had a job. You know, he, he worked at Wendy's. He worked on the grill. So, you know, I would prank him sometimes. Sometimes I would turn his grill up to 500 degrees, like all the way. So he would be cooking the meat and stuff. He's like, ow, ow, it's hot. It's hot. Ow. <laughs> and he wouldn't... He wouldn't figure out like, oh, the grill is just put on high. So the manager would finally come by. He's like, Wilson, why is all your meat burning? And he said, Wilson, you have your grill up to 500 degrees. What are you doing? Like, oh, I'm sorry, Mo. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> so then the manager would help him fix it. And then I would wait a little bit. Then... A couple of minutes later, like maybe a half hour later, I'll turn his grill off. So he'll still be cooking the meat. The meat would be barely <laughs> cooked, cooking. So then the manager would come back where I was like, Wilson, what are you doing? Wilson's like, I don't know, Mo, I'm cooking the meat. And Mo would be like, the grill is off. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know, Mo. I don't know. No. They, ne they never fired him. They never fired him. What they would do was like, all right, Wilson, go clean the floors. So they go clean the floors. 
one time, one time, unfortunately, I, um, I, I was, you know, I'd prank him almost every day. One time, he was in the freezer. You know, we had a walk-in freezer downstairs. He was, like, cleaning the shelves. I locked him in the freezer. So I went upstairs, started working, and it was like... <laughs> It was, I waited like 15 or 20 minutes. I forgot he was in the freezer. I forgot he was in the freezer. So I went downstairs. I, oh, shit, I left him in the freezer. I opened the freezer. He runs out of the freezer. His glasses are frozen over. He's like shivering. He had, he had frost on his eyebrows. He's like, I was locked in the freezer. I was like, Wilson, you all right? Like, oh, <laughs> he's like, I locked myself in the freezer. I was like, don't worry, Wilson, you're out now. Come upstairs and help me out. <laughs> and then <laughs> he'll be cleaning the bathrooms. I would lock him in the bathroom. And. <laughs> And then, Wilson, then the manager would be like, where's Wilson? I was like, I don't know. He was supposed to be cleaning the bathrooms. The manager goes, at, Wilson, you in there? Like, yeah, I'm locked in the bathroom. <laughs> then the manager would open the door. It was like, Wilson, you got you to gotta stop. Like, I know, I know, boss. But they never fired him. They never fired him, so. And uh, it was all in good fun. It was all in good fun. I mean, they loved him. I loved him, too. He was a good guy. He was actually the guy we, uh, we went to Atlantic City with. Poppy and myself. We went to Atlantic City on Johnny Boots' 21st birthday. Poppy slept in the same bed with Wilson. So uh, that was pretty funny, actually. Boots was right? Yeah, Boots was roasting me the other night. I don't know what he was roasting me about, but... I still talk to Wilson to this day, though. He's a good guy. I call him up every now and then, and he's a good guy. He's a funny guy. Oh, Dalton Hart? No, we wouldn't do that. To, we wouldn't do that to him, Mike. Yeah, Dalton, you want to challenge Angel Storm for a title right now? Okay, you want to, you want to? All right, one qu one question. All right, Angel Storm versus Dalton Hart for the Trivia World Title. One on one. Okay, yo, if you guys are ready. You guys are ready. Which female superstar held the record for holding the Divas Championship the longest? Dalton got it. Nikki Bella. Nikki Bella. Dalton got it. Nikki Bella. Congratulations to Dalton Hart. Yeah, we're going to do a, uh, we'll do a 24-7 too for you guys. Congratulations, Dart, uh, uh, Dalton Hart. He won the title.
Dalton Hart. Congratulations. All right. You ready for the 24-7 title? This is for everybody now. 24-7 title for everybody. Call them Jess if you are ready. All right. Here we go if you guys are ready. Who was John Cena feuding with? When he came up with the finishing maneuver, the AA, or better known as the FU back then. Let me see who got it. Mike Bushnell got it. Mike Bleasy. Brock Lesnar. He was feuding with Brock Lesnar, guys. Mike Bleasy. <laughs> Mike Bleasy the champ. What's up? It's up to Mike if he wants to defend it. It's, it's... Sorry, guys. It's up to Mike if he wants to defend it. He doesn't have to. Days 77 is the briefcase holder too. I don't know if he wanted to cash in. <laughs> that was a good one though. That was good. <laughs> All right, Mike's ready. He's going to do it 24-7. This is for uh, everybody on the stream, 24-7, 365. Title, if you guys are ready, Battle Royale, Battle Royale. Okay, which legendary superstar would utter the phrase, put a fork in it? Put a fork in it. Which legendary superstar would say those words? <laughs> Royale with cheese? <laughs> Put a fork in it. It's a hard question, so... Uh, JR, no, no. You're getting close though with that uh, JR. You're getting close. He's a legend. He was a legend. Okay, babe. Bobby Heenan, you're getting close. You guys are getting close. Lawler, no. Which famous superstar would utter the words, put a fork in it? No, no one got it. No one got it. You guys are getting close with Bobby Heenan. You guys are getting close. I know it's, it's, a, it's a hard question. Fork, Forky McForkington. 
<laughs> nope. He's in the Hall of Fame. He's in the Hall of Fame. Mike Bushnell got it. Gorilla Monsoon. Mike Bushnell, he retained the title. That was a tough question. Tough question. But if Mike wants to defend it again, it's up to him, though. All right, one more time. Mike's going to defend it. He's a fighting champ. He's a fighting champ. If you guys are ready for this next trivia question. All right, here we go. Who defeated Triple H at WrestleMania 12? Eric, the streak does continue, but what would have happened if you would have won the question? You, you would have won. The streak would have ended. <laughs> okay, Angel Storm's going to be live in a few minutes. Okay, we have a winner. John Moxley got it. Jessica Turif. John Moxley. It was the warrior, the ultimate warrior. John Moxley, he got it. John Moxley. All right. Moxley's putting it up. Okay. <laughs> John Moxley. I, he's, John, he's putting it up again. Uh, Battle Royale. The Dingo Warrior. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was funny, the Dingo Warrior. All right. Four. Four. The 24-7 Championship. 24-7 if you guys are ready for this next trivia question. Okay, Angel Storm, so uh, she's waiting to the end of the stream. So, all right, so we're going to probably head off. Um, and right after this question, we'll head off. So after we are done here, uh, try to find Angel Storm. Angel Storm, if you could put your screen name again on the stream so everyone can see so we can join you on Instagram. All right, final question of the night, guys. Final question for the 24-7 championship. 24-7 championship. All right, it's Angel Storm underscore 3597. 3597. That's it. That's how, you, that's how it is. <laughs> okay, for the 24-7 championship. You guys. <laughs> I, would, I would love to stay with you guys here all night, but... I'm going to have to sign out after this question, though. Okay. Next trivia question. 24-7. Okay, Angel Storm. Cool, cool. All right. For the 24-7 championship. You guys are ready. One fall to a finish. Battle Royale. Which superstar won the very first ever Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania? Dishes. <laughs> no, I did the dishes already. Those are done. I made the bed. I swept the floor. I did it all. I did it all. Dalton got it. Cesaro. And that wasn't Gilbert. <laughs> you know, I'm going to try to find a Gilbert figure, too. I'm going to try to find a, a Gilbert figure. I'm going to try. And if I find it, I'm going to give it away as a prize. Because you guys like 
You guys like him so much, Gilbert. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Congratulations to Dalton Hart. He's got two titles now. Congratulations. John Moxley, Intercontinental Champ. Jacob Turpin, the Global Champ. I'll see you guys real soon. Uh, join me on Angel Storm stream on Instagram. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll check out what, what Angel Storm's doing. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. And uh, it's my pleasure to live stream with you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Good night, everybody. Metroy signing out. Good night, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Eric. Thank you.